Hi, I'm Bill and welcome to my channel. Today uh, I'm going to share with you uh, this video of me putting together my William Optic Zenith Star 61 Mach 2. Um, I'm going to take my uh, shot of trying to put it together. Um, if you're new to the channel, welcome. And uh, I'll give my standard qualification. Uh, I'm a beginner. I'm just a guy on the internet. Uh, I've decided to learn uh, deep sky object imaging. Uh, and uh, anything I share, I'm going to do my best to make it factual and truthful. Uh, but I'm a beginner, uh, so I may say some things wrong at times. The other thing I'll do on this channel is as I'm going through the learning process, when I make mistakes, if I make mistakes, I'll share those with you in hopes that maybe you won't uh, make a similar mistake. So, okay, uh, Zenith Star. Um, purchased this a couple of weeks ago from uh, uh, a reseller. Um, part of my decision was uh, I needed a telescope to get started. There were limited supplies. Uh, this one was available. Uh, I know a lot of people use the Red Cat 51 for uh, wide uh, field of view, uh, deep sky object imaging. So I thought I would uh, uh, try try uh, uh, the Zenith Star. Um, first of all, a little bit about the specs. It's uh, the aperture is 61 millimeters, uh, focal ratio of uh, f 5.9. The focal length is 360 millimeters. Um, the objective type is a synthetic fluoride uh, FPL 53 doublet, air spaced APO, fully multi coated uh, SMC coating. To be honest, I don't know what that means yet, but as I find out, uh, I will share that with you. Um, the lens shade, which is um, this piece here, is uh, retractable um, and um, the uh, focuser, which would be here, uh, part of the, uh, uh, it's a 1 to 10 dual uh, micro focuser. Uh, as I learn more about that, I'll share that. Um, and uh, the overall tube length, uh, fully extended, this is 300 millimeters and retracted is uh, 230 and its weight is 1.45 kilograms. Um, interesting on these lens caps, I guess this is a patented design by William Optics. Um, in here, uh, whoop. <laughs> in here, uh, maybe the down camera will get it, uh, is a, what's known as a Botanov mask. It'll aid in focusing. Uh, I'll do a video on that once I get this scope uh, configured and up on my mount and start the process of learning how to focus it and everything. Uh, but it's pretty neat to have it uh, incorporated right into, uh, right into the design. Uh, so I'm going to quickly put this lens cap back on, I think. Um, also, it comes with a dovetail. Um, this dovetail is a Vixen style dovetail, I believe they call it. Uh, that's going to enable me to um, secure it to my Skywatcher HEQ5 Pro mount. Um, this here uh, is an adjustable field flattener. Uh, this piece here is an adapter that will allow me to adapt my uh, Canon 60 uh, to the imaging train. Uh, my Canon 60 is not Astro modified. It's just a regular old uh, 6D. Uh, in later videos, we'll we'll get into what does that mean. Uh, so okay, let's uh, let's get started. I have here um, uh, my uh, some information on a laptop. Uh, we talked about the uh, dust cover, the retractable dual dual uh, dew shield, um, and. Uh, I think that's uh, enough for right now as we get into more of the things. I will put a link to the Zenith Star 61 Mod 2 manual uh, in the description uh, below. So I believe the first part of the process is we are going to, um, I think we are going to remove this. Uh, 
Okay, this, this piece comes off. Okay. And then I think next we have to remove this. Okay. Probably breaking it. Okay, uh, this piece came off. It's got a very fine thread uh, on it. Okay, then I believe the next thing we do is we're going to remove this cap. Very fine threads, as you can tell by the number of rotations it takes. Okay, and then let's see if we're going to make this up. Um, all right. And with uh, my experience with fine threads, you want to be very uh, careful. You don't want to force anything. And uh, if you find uh, some resistance, you probably want to stop and, and investigate a little bit. Okay, so we got that piece on. I am going to, uh, I believe what this is going to allow me to do um, is I'm going to be able to rotate it uh, well, maybe. I think there's a way to uh, rotate my camera position, but I'll find that out. Uh, the next piece. Let me flip that around to this camera here. Um, Again, very fine threads in here. We're going to uh, okay. We got that, and then the next step would be to mate my camera onto that. I'm looking to see if there's like a red dot indicator on here where you would normally uh, position your camera uh, where there's a red dot here if there's something corresponding. Okay, so we know it goes in. Uh, so where is... Okay, so I don't know if you can see this, but there's a little white set screw or something there. Uh, that, is, that is the indicator uh, that I need to look for uh, and position uh, with my with my red dot and then once I get those lined up then then I should be good yeah it clips and then to unclip of course just like any lens I push this button on the side here and then rotate it off all right so we're cooking with gas now um, But this is all part of the learning process and what makes it fun. Um, okay, so now that dot is all the way down here. Now, I believe I'm supposed to be able to rotate this, which I can. And I'm going to bring that dot up to the top. So this button will allow me to rotate the whole uh, flattener, uh, adjustable flattener assembly to get the... Uh, camera in the correct position um, and so now now this dot is right here so now I should be able to yep line it up rotate and then um, it seems
And now I want to get this in the, uh, not that one. Something like that. Okay, so this is the basic assembly. I've got a lot more uh, to do right now, but I thought what I would do, so give me one second here. What I've brought is a uh, scale that we use to make uh, dough, pizza dough, those type of things. Um, so I've set it to zero. And let's see if we can weigh this uh, whole train. Okay, two kilograms, uh, three kilograms is the weight. So um, this is going to come into play when I... Um, okay, so let's just slip this over to pounds. Six pounds, ten and seven eighths ounces uh, for this. Yeah, of course, that wouldn't weigh well. All right. So, hope this is helpful when you get your uh, Zenith Star uh, 61. And if you're going to attach a Canon camera to it. Um, in later videos, I will, when I get into the focusing area, I'll show how to adjust this uh, adjustable uh, flattener here. Uh, to get the right, I think they call it uh, back focus. So uh, from what I've learned so far, there's a distance that this sensor has to be from your uh, rear optic. And uh, I'll learn what that is and then I'll share that with you. So anyway, Xenostar 61 Mod 2 uh, with uh, um, adjustable uh, field flattener and a, a T adapter to adapt a Canon 60 to it. And uh, now the next step will be to get this on my mount uh, and to learn how to balance it on the mount by you know, adjusting the counterweights in the right uh, place. Uh, so I've got a lot to do. Again, I'm, I'm a beginner, and as you saw here uh, in my trying to assemble the scope, uh, uh, I have a lot more to learn yet. So uh, one word, uh, I will be touching a, a video on a guide scope. It will fit right into this slot here. Um, and that was the purpose I, I purchased the uh, uh, William Optics uh, Guide Scope 32 millimeter because uh, it fits real well with this top saddle here. Uh, just a quick thing about the fit and finish here. Uh, it looks very good, but again, I haven't owned other telescopes, so I don't really have something that I can compare to. But there's nothing that I've seen so far that has caused me any concern. So, all right, if you like this kind of content, please give it a thumbs up. As always, I welcome new subscribers, uh, and what really drives the channel is your comments and questions. Uh, that is a process that helps me learn, and then other people that read the comments as well can learn uh, from those comments. Anyway, uh, thanks again for checking out the channel. Till next time.